Rodolfo is here. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Yes, well, today is the big day. Yes, today is the global exam. Yes, I hope you have um, studied. Yes, okay. So it's Thursday, the 18th of June. Yes, okay. Remember, these are the tips I want you to follow. Yes, okay. These are the tips I want you to follow. Uh, sit down in a room, be quiet there, yes, in silence, bring a glass of water, put it on your desk, yes, remember you have one hour and a half, yes, one hour and a half for solving the test, remember we can, uh, we have to start the test doing the composition and then following the other exercises with the other exercises okay so i want you to do it alone don't use dictionary yes as we always say don't use correction pen but now i will say don't use dictionary don't use your books your class books your notebooks yes any help yes don't ask for help yes i want you to do it alone yes so i want you to be conscious of that because we are training for the final exam and this is a very important exam. This is the mid-year exam. And with these results, yes, I will know what things I have to revise. Yes, so it is very important that you do it alone. Sit, don't stand up and go to the toilet. Go to the toilet first and then sit down and concentrate. Yes, do it as if you were here. Okay, is it clear? So, I will be there in your conscious. <laughs> yes, okay, in your conscious. Uh, I, will, I want you to make a con I, will, I want you to be conscious of that. Yes, hoy voy a hacer tu conciencia. Yes, okay, is it clear? Yes, so do it alone, no help. Yes, one hour and a half, sit down and do it as if you were here. Okay, I trust in you. Okay. Good. Um, are we ready? Good. Uh, it is the first exam that we don't do it here. Yes, okay. Así que voy a tener que confiar, voy a confiar en ustedes, ¿sí? Que sean honestos, que no usen ningún artefacto, nada de búsqueda en el diccionario, ni nada, y lo hagan solitos, ¿ok? Is it clear? Good. My brother. One hour and a half. Okay? So you have to read the article, complete and complete gaps from one to six with the uh, sentences from A to H. There are two extra sentences that, sentences that you don't need. In exercise B, complete the following sentences using the grammar study. Yes, this year. All right. Read carefully and then complete. Complete the following sentences using vocabulary studied. The first letter is given us a help. D. Complete the paragraph using the most suitable verb tense. C. Choose the correct alternative. Remember to circle the option and write the option that you have chosen in this space. F. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps with the words given in, in, given in brackets. Make any necessary changes. Okay, remember to read the sentence and uh think about it think if it is if you need a verb a noun an adjective in this space okay and then write a new story young boy kills a woman accidentally mass words must be underlined underlined however although conditional zero and one remember if present present if present future community service amazingly okay so remember that, first of all, you are going to start with this, okay? 120 words, yes? Uh, ponete el celular o algo, medite 20 minutes, 
for the composition more or less I teach it but you know how antes 20 minutes more or less in 15 minutes you do it in five you check in 20 minutes you do it and in five minutes you check and the rest yes is for the grammar and reading is it clear but no more than 20 minutes for the composition okay 25 is a lot yes 20 between 20 and 25 maximum yes okay is it clear so start with the composition and then follow do the exam as if you were here yes okay good so let's go to the listening yes okay You have the listening paper, match the extras from, from 1 to 5 with a description from A to E. There are two extra descriptions that you don't do, that you don't, you don't need. Okay? Read it first. Always read. Yes? Are you ready? All right. So, um, you have to listen now. And then solve. Yes, okay. You can listen and write at the same time. Yes, you don't need to put the pen down now. Okay, is it clear? Good. There we are. 29. CD4. Track 29. 1. Uh, follow me, please. Now, uh, in this room, you can see objects that were preserved in the volcano eruption in Pompeii in AD 79. At that time, Pompeii had about 20,000 inhabitants and was a busy city. They had public baths and many types of shops. Before the actual eruption, a witness reported seeing a large cloud of volcanic ash over the top of the mountain. When the volcano erupted, it covered the city in about three meters of hot ash and rock. This is why many of the objects you can see here were preserved. Two. This is Tim Jenkins reporting live. I'm here in Brisbane, in Australia, where floods have killed 10 people and many more have been reported missing. In total, around 200,000 people have been affected and many have had to leave their homes. About 1,500 people are already in special shelters. Experts estimate the damage will cost billions of dollars to repair. Three. the San Francisco Earthquake Museum. The museum is open from 9 to 6, from Tuesday to Sunday, closed on Mondays. For information about our latest exhibition, press 1. For information about the exhibition on the Great Earthquake in 1906, press 2. For information about our bookshop, press 3. For information on school parties and group visits, please phone 415 858-3575. Thank you. Four. So today I'd like to talk to you about a book called The Smoke Jumper. It was written by Nicholas Evans. I've chosen this book because it is definitely the best book I read last year. The Smoke Jumper is about two best friends, Ed and Connor. Connor is a photographer and he and Ed spend every summer smoke jumping. It is jumping out of planes to fight forest fires. Then Connor falls in love with Ed's girlfriend, Julia. One day she takes kids out hiking and there's a terrible fire. One of the students is killed and Ed is injured. Julia decides to marry him, though she's secretly in love with Connor. It sounds like a sad story, but actually... Five. 
Welcome to Film Matters. On today's program, we'll be hearing about an exciting new documentary film called Galveston. The documentary is about Galveston in America, and it is about the effects of Hurricane Ike on the city and the area. It includes interviews with survivors of the hurricane and documents how the city has been rebuilt after the disaster. Filming started in 2008 and the director was Jim Bailey. Okay, remember you can't repeat this listening once, okay? Only once, okay? Well, uh, that is all. Uh, I wish you good luck, yes, and a very happy weekend. Bye-bye. See you next class.